Hello and welcome back to episode two of the City of Wisconsin Rapids Snow Removal Series. Again, my name is Cody Knudsen, a supervisor for the department. On this episode, we are gonna focus on all aspects of a snow event, from the pre-planning, plowing, to the post-snow snowstorm cleanup. The city is broken into nine main plow routes. As I stated in episode one, we have 23 different pieces of snow removal equipment that we can use. A typical single route takes anywhere from eight to 10 hours, depending on the severity of the storm. These routes are assigned to the same operator throughout the winter season. This maximizes safety and efficiency within the route. When forecasters begin to focus on an incoming weather system, we began planning different scenarios and how we are going to attack the weather event. We rely on National Weather Service and local weather services to give us the most accurate prediction possible. Roughly 72 hours before the event, we begin to lay out what kind of equipment and staff we are going to need. 24 hours before the event, we determine whether or not we are going to pre-treat road surfaces. We may only pre-treat bridge decks, overpasses, and troublesome areas, or we may do continuous application on all of our connecting highway system. Storm intensity, precipitation type, and road surface temperatures are three main factors that we use to determine what route we are gonna take. The purpose of anti-icing is to create a barrier between the snow and ice to the pavement surface. This allows us to be more efficient when initially removing the snow. We use road surface temperature sensors mounted on our vehicles. These give us live temperature and relative humidity readings from the surface, which allows us to be more accurate when deciding how to treat a road surface. 12 hours before, we now have a good idea on when the storm will reach our area. As the storm approaches, we begin to monitor Wisconsin 511 live traffic cameras throughout the surrounding areas to get a better idea of the storm intensity and the pre precipitation type. We utilize the weather camera on City Hall's roof to monitor current weather conditions as well. At this time, we begin to call in staff to begin their routes. Loaders and graders begin to remove snow from the connecting highway and downtown area first. When the connecting highway snow and downtown area snow has been removed, our patrol trucks begin scraping and applying salt application to the road surface. One technology that we use to be more efficient and environmentally friendly is pre-wetting the rock salt with liquid salt brine before the rock salt hits the pavement surface. This cuts down on activation time and allows the salt to stick to the surface and not bounce into the curb or snowbank. It also cuts down on overall salt usage as well. Our two sidewalk tractors begin plowing their east and west side routes. Our city-owned parking lots will start getting plowed. The loaders and graders then transition into the mains and they finish in the residential neighborhoods if the snow depth is in excess of four inches. Next, the patrol trucks will rescrape the highways once the rock salt had been, has a chance to activate and loosen the final snowpack. They then begin treating mains before fi finishing in the residential neighborhoods with a salt sand mix. Our shovel by hand crews will be the last crews to start. They will remove snow from various crosswalks throughout the city and alleys will also be plowed. This is just one example of how we would tackle a winter storm event. Every event is different and equipment and personnel needs can change from event to event. A reminder to city residents that have a sidewalk running along their property, it is their responsibility to remove the snow within 24 hours of post storm. The city provides sand barrels at various locations around the city. Residents may use the sand on their sidewalk to help when conditions are making surfaces slick. The city also asks that residents who have fire hydrants on their property to remove the snow around these to ensure fire personnel are able to quickly and safely get to these in the event of emergency. Understanding our policies and procedures is important to ensure a safe winter season for our community. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our snow removal operation. We also want to thank all of our city staff members for their dedication to making our streets safe for the citizens of the City of Wisconsin Rapids. In the next video, we will highlight our downtown snow removal operation, weather permitting. Thanks again.
The areas impacted include Portage, Washera, Wood, Menominee, Northern Oconto County, Shawano, Southern Marinette County, Southern Oconto County, and Wapaka Counties. The hazardous conditions are expected until 6 a.m. Wednesday.